Hello, students. Today I'll be explaining you a new poem known as Upon Westminster, Westminster Bridge. So, before starting up the poem, let me introduce our poet of today's poem, William Wordsworth. So, by listening to this uh, name of the poet, I think you people are very familiar with the names. So. Before getting any delay, so let me start up the introduction of the poem, William Wordsworth. He is one of the most famous poets of England, excelled in vivid and joyous description of nature. So he's basically a poet who will be describing and who loves the nature. In this poem, however, he describes the beauty of crowded city of London at a time of a day when the crowds are still asleep and the building and the ships are immersed in deep silence. In the clear morning's light, the river Thames, which runs through London, has a series of bridges across it and Westminster Bridge is one of the older and more famous among them. The poet describes what he sees and feels standing on this bridge soon after sunrise. He he is moved by the beauty of the scene. So the description of the poem has also went on with this and even the introduction of the poet also we have seen. So as I have given the description, a brief description, so it says, and the beauty of the uh, London city, especially um, the poet who is just witnessing the beauty of the city of London upon the bridge, Westminster. So in which city it is situated? It is in the city of London. So London has many more bridges, but among them, the Westminster is one of the oldest and the very famous bridge. So the poet of today's poem is Williams Wordsworth. So I'll be going uh, with a poem line by line. So please follow up me. The poem goes like this. The hearth has anything to show more fair. The earth has nothing or not anything to show more fair. So on the earth there is nothing beautiful than what he is presently experiencing and seeing now. Show it is a past tense of a word show. Dull would be of soul who could pass by. So a dull will be a, it refers to a person who doesn't enjoy the beauty of the city of the London upon the bridge, Westminster. A sight so touching in its majesty, the sight in the sense, the scenery, the scene, the beauty of the city is so touching and it is so majestically, uh, it is being exhibited of itself. And this city now doth like a garment wear. Uh, this city now dot dot it's nothing but does the city now does like a garment wear so it's seeming like a present situation and the early morning will be a kind of a, a pleasant giving uh, experience we will be feeling out and a kind of a pleasure the poet is feeling now and he is also uh, just expressing the city as though it is wearing a garment garment is nothing but a clothes the beauty of morning, the silent bear. So as we have a, a, a rise up or get up early in the morning, we feel so fresh and we feel the fresh breeze also and a kind of refreshment will be there. So the same thing the poet is also feeling now. So the, the beauty of the morning, so which, has, which is fulfilled with the silent, which could be bared by the poet and has a very good feeling now. And the ships, towers, domes, theatres, and the temples lie. So the city consists of the ships, the towers, domes, theatres, and the temples lie. The ships, why? Because the ships has been represented here because the, as you can see in the picture in your textbook, the poet is just witnessing the beauty of the London city upon the bridge. That is the name of the bridge called as Westminster. So the ship has been represented here and which has been included in the city and included the towers, domes, theaters, and the temples. 
open unto the field and to the sky the field is so uh, open and it seems like the field and the skies are one and the same under the sky a kind of a beauty of a place is being represented here he have never witnessed and he has never seen the same the, such a kind of a beauty anywhere else in the world all bright and glittering in the smokeless air so it will it will be very gloomy enough and it will be kind of a bright and a, a smokeless air will be there and which has a very fresh this represents the very fresh air never did sun more beautifully steep the sun the sun sun is about to come out and he he is just about to uh, steep up with the light and it's seeming very beautifully in his first splendor valley rock or hill so it's a kind of a kind of a pleasure feeling and the splendor which has been expressed by the poet as of that he has witnessed the beauty of the london city very exorbitantly and he is just enjoying the moment never saw we have to spell this word as never n e apostrophe e r we have that word so we have to pronounce it as never and we have to understand the same thing never saw i never felt a calm so deep so he has never felt and he has never seen the uh, such a beauty of a city anywhere in the world what he is experiencing now so he is so deep and he is so calm and the river glet at his own sweet will dear god the very house seems asleep and all that mighty heart is lying still so the river which has been let over and at his own sweet will it is flowing so on which river uh, the bridge has been built up on the river called as thames the river name is thames so the river which is gliding out with this sweet will and the god he is just uh, praying to the god and the god has given up so beauty of the nature and then he says oh god dear god the very houses seems asleep so he is just feeling out in the early morning the houses in the city are still sleeping and that almighty heart is lying still almighty heart it refers to the heart which doesn't have any which doesn't have any uh, kind of uh, uh, bad things or which possesses out that the london city is very large enough which has a very good human enterprise over there so that is the meaning of this line so and all that uh, and all that mighty her heart is lying still so he was he is very happy just to see up the city upon the westminster bridge so hope you all enjoy the poem so just read out line by line so we'll just catch you up in the next video thank you